Welcome down the rabbit hole, friends. I am not shitting you when I say that Gypsy Rose has gone ahead and confirmed to TMZ that she is, quote unquote, hanging out with Ken Erker, her ex-fiance, the guy she was with before she was ever with her current husband, Ryan. Ken and Gypsy, they met while she was in prison through some kind of pen pal program, and TMZ has all the details. Okay, so TMZ writes, Gypsy Rose Blanchard is real busy, making up for lost time with her ex-fiance, Ken Erker. (laughs) GRB, so now even TMZ is calling her GRB, it's like her thing. (sighs) This is all coming to a massive explosion where she becomes a major influencer, everyone calls her GRB, and then there's some kind of major crash at the end, and then everyone says she's crazy and they lock her up and they do some kind of a like um the thing the whole thing that happened with britney spears a conservatorship i just see it coming but hopefully that's not the case for you grb okay so tmz writes grb linked up with her former flame enola this week okay so that's new orleans guys she's down in new orleans louisiana hanging out people are taking pictures of her everywhere i'll share some of them TMZ says, and we're told the exes did a lot more than just getting matching husky tattoos at this tattoo parlor called Cutoff in Louisiana. Matching husky tattoos. Yes, you heard me correctly. I'm very concerned about this because I happen to know that there's this whole genre on TikTok now. And I know that Gypsy and her friends and her crew are like really into TikTok. I know there's this whole genre on TikTok now where people pretend to be wolves and like part of a wolf pack and it's like a whole sexual and like romantic thing that they do with one another and it is so weird i'm fine with it love it for them love it for people who want to do it but when i watch it from a distance on tiktok i'm just like this it's just too much for me and i'm sort of wondering if the quote-unquote husky tattoos are more like wolf tattoos and they want to live this like wolf-like existence. I'll see if I can put some TikToks in about it, but it's really too much. Now, I have no evidence of that from (laughs) Gypsy and Ken, but I'll be watching. I'll be trying to figure out what these husky tattoos are about. I mean, it's not like they have a husky that they bought together and that they share, so it's just very strange to me. Okay, getting back to TMZ. They say, sources close to Gypsy tell TMZ Ken flew Sunday from Texas, which is where he lives, to Louisiana to visit and support his ex amid her separation from Ryan Anderson. While this might sound like a very romantic adventure, our sources, which I'm willing to bet is Christy Blanchard, (laughs) our sources insist nothing romantic is going on between them at this point. We're told Gypsy is focusing on herself right now, but does appreciate Ken's support as she navigates a difficult time. As Ken's mom, remember in my last video, I showed you this entire snippet of Ken's mom talking about Gypsy on social media, and I thought the mom came off as like a very nice person, a very normal person. Well, now she's talking to TMZ. And so TMZ says, as Ken's mom, Raina Williams, previously told us, Ken felt compelled to be by Gypsy's side as soon as he learned about her split from Ryan. They first connected in 2018 through the prison pen pal program, got engaged in 2019, but faced some hardships due to Gypsy's incarceration, which ultimately resulted in their split. Once again, you can go back and watch my other videos, but I was told by some sources, I'm sure there were multiple problems (laughs) that led to the disconnect between Ken and Gypsy. And it could have even been like, okay, we want to wait until Gypsy gets out and then we'll try to rekindle our relationship. But what I heard from the sources was specifically that Gypsy was saying Ken was really angry with her for her interaction with these girls on TikTok and making TikTok accounts with them and trying to kind of build up a following with her friends from TikTok. I've talked about them before. Um, One of the most prominent TikTokers who was involved with Gypsy is called Rachel Garlic, and she actually spent a period of time in prison with Gypsy, and there's a whole thing going on between them. I'll try to link some of those videos that I did before below. So of course, (laughs) on social media, people are pointing out that they predicted this weeks in advance. 
and many fans and haters were all over Gypsy and Ryan's social media pointing out that Gypsy was, this was before they had the split, that Gypsy was following and DMing her ex-boyfriend already. She was already, like, following him on social media, which suggests some connection, um, like, shortly after she got out of prison. And so here we have someone saying to Ryan on his social media, Anywho, she's in her ex's DMs. They also follow each other on TikTok. Watch her back, Ryan. She's eyeing Ken. (laughs) <laughs> so this was a little while back and people are like, yeah, I knew this was going to happen. She needs to focus on herself, but she's not going to do that. She dives right back into another relationship right away. And that's only ultimately going to cause problems for her. Many people are pointing out that you can notice that <laughs> the tattooed Huskies have a half heart. And when and when Ken and Gypsy put their arms together, the hearts create... <laughs> A whole heart, <laughs> a, a re, a restored heart, full of love, bursting with husky wolf love for one another. Um, <laughs> so people are saying that there's no way they aren't dating. They don't have feels for each other. He came all the way from Texas to be with her. Um, she looks happy. She looks the best I've seen her. She looks like she's out doing what she wants to do, like being free in New Orleans. But one of the issues that people always had with Ken is that he lives in Texas. He also has like a minor um, criminal history. He He does not have a felony. That would be a big issue for Gypsy. But as far as I'm aware, he doesn't have a felony. He has been to jail before. He has committed like minor criminal offenses. And that was an issue for her parents. But also the bigger issue was that he lives down in Texas and her parents really wanted her thought it would be best for her to be in Louisiana and to be close to them once she was released from prison. And as of right now, I'm pretty sure her parole requires her to stay in Louisiana. People are taking pictures of them all over (laughs) New Orleans. Ken has really big feet. I will say I do notice that in these pictures. Um, once again, Gypsy seems probably the happiest we've seen her in a long time. How long can Ken stay up there? Does he have a job? I'll be looking into all of this in the coming days. I'm sure TMZ will be getting the scoop as well from the families. Clearly, the families are in contact with TMZ, feeding them some of this information. Gypsy's also been spotted outside of restaurants, bars, all throughout New Orleans. People are going crazy about her. I talked to some friends who are living down there, and they said that there's some people who kind of put up that all over their social media that everyone's on Gypsy Watch. <laughs> Get a picture of her and sell it to TMZ. We've got a lot of people talking on Reddit. They're asking, like, how can Gypsy even spend time with Ken? when he was in jail before. But once again, let me make it clear. Gypsy cannot be around felons. Ken is not a felon. He has a few misdemeanors. So it's fine for her to be with him and spend time with him. Um, I think it might be an issue if she decides she wants to live with him right now while she's on parole because she's supposed to have like a very stable and concrete environment that she's living in. Okay, so what's really crazy is allegedly Ken's sister has come forward on social media. Her name is Autumn Tara. She claims that Ken is her real blood brother. I've not confirmed this yet. But here's what she has to say. I just can't even believe this. Ken is my brother, like real blood brother. She will never make it in this family. He has sisters that are really crazy. Me. This picture is from Christmas. And then she put up a picture of herself with Ken. Ken is pictured on the far right. And I'm the pregnant chick in the back. Okay, I'm going to show you this picture. I believe this picture comes from a TikToker named Nina who really has the scoop on this family. They're, all of them are talking to her, okay? Um, she's very popular on TikTok, and I will link her below. So we even have Ken's sister coming forward and being like, we're all crazy down here. We've already met his mom through video, and she seemed quite interesting. I will say, here's the lowdown. Here's the thing that I think all of us are thinking, but I haven't said yet. All right. 
allegedly, everyone is out there saying that Gypsy Rose Blanchard, GRB, is worth like a million dollars, if not more, that she has made a lot of money already off of all of these shows that she's done, sponsorships, whatever. I've had people tell me that's not true. But it's out there in the public that she is rich and that she has a lot more income coming in because she's continuing. She's filming the show right now. She could even be filming with Ken for all we know. Um, and of course, all of this drama and putting it out in the public and making all of us talk about it is going to make more of us head over to the show. So how much of this is done for Gypsy's real life and how much of it is done for the show? We don't know. Um, maybe we'll find out more once the show comes out. I have a lot of people saying they're not going to watch it. They're done with Gypsy. They're tired of all of this. Many people are like, she's a murderer, and she did more than she was convicted of. If you're not aware, I don't really feel that way. I feel like Gypsy was an abused child who, from the beginning, I always thought she deserved intervention rather than being put in prison. Um, but I also had a lot of those feelings towards Nick Godajan, that I felt like he deserved intervention and, of course, some kind of consequence for both of them, but I didn't feel like prison was the right environment. So I'm a little bit different from those of you who are like, I can't stand Gypsy. I certainly wanted the best for her. It's only been recently that some of this drama has come out that I've been a little bit more skeptical about what's really going on with her. Many of you know that I've seen a lot of toxic drama going on from the people in her circle, people around her that are playing around on YouTube, playing around on TikTok. Everybody wants a piece of her. I'm kind of part of that and I, I want to acknowledge it. And yet I've had people reach out to me, like even Christy Blanchard was typing in my comments at one point, and I never go after talking to these people because I want to be able to look at things through my own lens and say what I want to say and not be manipulated by the family members who want you to say what benefits them the most. Okay, so here's what I'm getting at. Many people are thinking it. Not everybody is saying it. It's hard for me to say because I don't want to be an asshole to these people, but I will put it out there. Lots of people are thinking Gypsy is rich and Ken turned around and was like, hey, <laughs> I'll take a piece of that pie right now. I might have left it behind before, threw it away in the trash can, but um, now that she's got some ching ching, I'm ready to get back with her. And even the mom, as wonderful and sweet and loving as she seemed on TikTok, people are starting to question her motives. Of course she wants her son to get back with Gypsy when Gypsy's a millionaire and they could all be on a reality show now. <sighs> What's really going on here? I will say that Ken Urker is the one who really came up against Gypsy doing reality TV and influencer type stuff in the past. He's the one I read to you in the last video. He posted all these messages on Facebook and he was like, this isn't right for Gypsy. People are using her and she doesn't need followers, fans, and she doesn't need to be famous. So um, maybe he wants something different from her than all of these people in her life who are pushing her or prodding her like, yes, go forward with the reality show. Yes, you gotta make some money, you gotta do this. Maybe he wants to do things differently. Or maybe he's very controlling, because I saw some of that in the messages on Facebook as well. He was kind of speaking for her. He was saying, this is how we're going to do things. Um, and we know that Gypsy has a history of getting involved with controlling people or trying to control others. So there's so much to think about here. And what is coming next? <laughs> Probably a bunch of drama, because of course, all of that is going to lend well to the new reality show that's coming out on A&E. Um, all right, I am off. I'm actually off with my kids, taking them on a trip, but I wanted to hop on and make sure I got this news out to all of you. I will be putting out some additional videos that I've done about other cases, and I hope you will take a listen and join me again down the rabbit hole.